Yeah, welcome back. So we had another cool day as we made our way through the day today, but lots of sunshine out there. High temperatures reaching around 46 degrees, and we are staying uh, not bad in terms of uh, the uh, time of day and time of year at 45 right now. Average highs this time of the year into the upper 50s. As for the wind, it's west around 14 miles per hour. Nice dry flow, a little mild out there with that westerly wind. And the dew point at 22, so you can see how dry it is. Here's a look at the temperatures across the region into the mid 40s right now out toward Thedford, Broken Bow, and Lexington. 47 is the warm spot at Imperial, but right next to 41 at Ogallala and Hyannis, that is the uh, cool spot on the map. There's your wind, so it's been westerly through most of the day. That westerly flow, just slightly mild, but very dry out there. Wind speeds right now between 10 and 15 miles per hour, and some of the strongest wind gusts we're seeing on this map out toward Ogallala, Thedford, Valentine, 15 to 30 miles per hour. So uh, that dry westerly wind is uh, giving us clear skies. Not a lot of moisture, even in the form of cloud cover. Maybe a few clouds just off to the south and east of Valentine, but that is basically it. So, across the uh, country, we do have this high pressure system to our south, giving us that westerly wind. There's another low that's missing us off to the north, into the northern plains. Some snow showers out in that direction, but we are going to get the cold front from this one coming through later tonight. That flips the wind around to more of a northerly flow for tomorrow. So temperatures will be on their way down, but it's another front that's going to come through dry. More high pressure will be in charge to give us a cooler Halloween. So here's what it looks like on the map. We might have a few more passing clouds later on tonight, but that wind definitely pick, uh, flipping around to a northerly direction into the upper 20s this evening, and we'll start off tomorrow into the mid to upper teens. High temperatures tomorrow only reaching the mid to upper 30s across the region, still with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Then we'll warm up pretty nicely. There's that wind flipping around to more of a southerly direction. We start off into the lower 20s for your Wednesday, and then high temperatures by Wednesday afternoon will reach the uh, upper 40s to lower 50s across the region as we keep partly cloudy skies. There's the beginning in that nice warm up as we do stay mainly dry. Here's a look at the forecast map. So, a little bit under the influence of this high off to our south, warming us up just uh, a little with those highs into the mid to upper 40s today. But here comes that cold front we've been watching uh, that makes its way through tonight. So, for for Halloween, a high pressure system, a cooler one, is off to our north, giving us a northerly or easterly flow, and that is a cooler weather pattern uh, compared to where we have been. But eventually, this high works its way off to the south and east, giving us a nice warm up in the form of this southerly flow, and even a dual high pressure system set up as we go through later on the, the week as temperatures will rise back through the 60s. But we're keeping the cold air over us uh, between now and tomorrow night cooler. Uh, look how far south the cool air does go uh, into the Texas panhandle out toward New Mexico. The warm air is trapped into uh, Florida. Nice conditions on the west coast. And uh, relatively, we are dry. Some snow showers in the Great Lakes and some rain into the Carolinas, but that is basically it. So for us, we're going to con continue our dry weather pattern. High into the upper 30s tomorrow, then 54 on Wednesday, mostly cloudy, and 56 Thursday with mostly sunny skies. Then partly cloudy on Friday and Saturday with highs in the low to mid 60s. Near 60 on Sunday, still dry, partly cloudy skies. Maybe some morning showers on Monday as we reach the uh, 57 degree mark by this time next week. Kent? It's certainly good to see the 60s coming back in the forecast. Yeah, we've been cold to start the week. We have a nice warm up in store. All right, thanks, Justin. And today, the White House rolled out a sweeping executive order on artificial intelligence. This marks the latest effort to address the rapidly evolving.